everybody. Cindy out of here with My Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing today? I'm doing pretty well. I'm going to work on another puzzle piece. Um, I was been shuffling these like crazy. Oh, oh no, it's just got a white edge. Um, so yeah, they're really difficult to shuffle. So I'm not sure what the issue is, but yeah, they're just really difficult. Maybe because there's too many of them. I don't know. So anyways, we're going to spread them out. Um, I did tell you last time that... Um, you have to sand them. So I went through and I actually sanded all the pieces just for something to do one day. Alright, so either use bubble wrap or saran wrap. Um, we're going to draw an additional prompt or draw three. Let's do our five first. Uh, let's see. Use tissue paper for texture. Use aluminum foil for texture. Uh, let's see. Four. Scratch paint with a pen or scratch it with a mark making tool. Five. Use three stencils or use six stamps. Oh boy. And that's a tiny. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. <laughs> um, and this one I am going to draw an additional prompt. So this one's going to go to the side. And I'm going to draw another one. Alright, this one is either use matte or metallic paint. So let me get these out of the way. Oh, this is going to be fun. All right, so I think I'm going to do some paint. Well, no, first I'm going to do some texture. Then probably some paint. And I get to use either three stencils or six stamps. There's no way I can get six stamps on there unless they're really, real itty bitty teeny tiny things. They're coming out of the bag. All right, so let me go ahead and get my stuff together. Um, I think I'll probably use matte paint again. Eh, maybe I'll use metallic, I don't know. Let me get my stuff together and we will get to work on this puzzle piece. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, here's my three stencils. I'm not gonna use six stamps, I'll do three stencils. But first thing I'm gonna do, it says to use tissue paper for texture or aluminum foil for texture. I'm gonna use tissue paper. Sorry about that, but that's what I wanted to do is squish it all up. So I'm just going to take a little piece of it and I just want to kind of um, paste it down. So let's get my matte medium, which is right here. Ugh. Sometimes that... Whoops! Well, I guess I got enough matte medium, huh? Oh dear lord. Let's see. Let's take half of this off here. All right, anyways, we got enough matte medium. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my tissue paper on here. And again, it's for texture, so I don't want it straight. Look at this mess. I have enough tissue paper for or enough matte medium to do six of these. Let me just bring it over here so I'm kind of covering up the puzzle piece a little bit. I mean, it doesn't have to be 100%, but I'm going to cover it up. Okay, so that's pretty well covered up. I'm going to go ahead and dry this really, really well, and then I'll come back, and next step is going to be using metallic paint. I'm going to dry it, and then I'm going to cut all this excess off. So I'll be back. Okay, so I got it pretty well done. Um, it's still a little tacky in different spots, but that's okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do next is we did step one. Now we're going to do step two, which is I'm going to use metallic paint. And what I pulled out of my metallics is um, the Deco Art metallic teal. And then I have a color shift uh, metallic uh, yellow flash, it says. So I'm going to use a little bit of each of these. Let me get rid of this real quick. Sorry, I didn't think about it or I would have done it before I turned the camera back on. All right, so that's gone. So I'm just going to put a little bit here on the side. I've got some paintbrush right there. Let's throw a little bit here on the yellow metallic. I know that's way too much, but hey, it is what it is. And then we have the teal. So I'm just going to take this brush. Is that the one? I need a brush that I can just kind of scrub with, and I really don't want to mess up all my other brushes. So... There we go, this one will work. 
So I'm just going to take a little bit of this metallic paint and just kind of use it. <laughs> I like the texture on this. I really do. I think this yellow is going to be really pretty with this teal. And let me just put a little bit up here. Yeah, I do. I think it's going to be pretty. I know I hear everybody groaning, oh, you're going to make green. No, I'm not. Because... Clean off that brush, and now I'm going to use some of the teal. So, teal. I'm not sure where this is going, but you know, it's going to look pretty interesting. Not quite sure, you know. It's just going to be another piece of that puzzle, so when we put it all back together, it's just going to look really different. I think it's going to be very interesting to see what it looks like put back together. I know some of these edges I'm going to have to um, really straighten up in order to get the puzzle back together. You know, like right here, I got to take that off. And I realize that. Um, so I don't want this orange in here. So I'm just going to add some teal to it. Just add a little bit more just to really punch that color. Okay, I gotta clean my brush real quick. My poor brushes. I end up forgetting them in the water. <laughs> and they end up with, yeah, mostly no paint. Alright, let me punch up this yellow again. can't see it because for some reason the light's glaring on it for me. I hope it's not doing it for you guys, but for me it is. So I have to kind of look at it. Alright, so our next thing is to use bubble wrap or saran wrap. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry really good. And then I'm going to use a matte paint to um, do a bubble wrap on. I'll be back. Decided I'm going to use a little bit of this Blick acrylic. Um, it's a matte paint. It's deep green. And I'm going to do it on the bubble wrap. Well, maybe I am. Oh, that's way too much. Ugh. That's way too much. That's okay. Whatever. I got other books around I can use it on. So, whoops. I just want to lay a little bit down. I don't want to do a whole lot. It's not really going to show anyways, but that's okay. We're just going to do a little bit. All right. I got to find somewhere else to put that paint. So I don't know, can you see it? There's a little bit of green on there, a little bit of bubble wrap. So we're going to stick with that. And then we're going to do, it says to scratch the paint with a pen. Um, I've decided I don't really want to use one of my pens because I really don't want to mess it up. So I'm going to use this little guy here. And what I may do, it doesn't say how to scrape the paint, does it? So I just might do this. You know, just add a little bit of extra green that I've got here. And then just make marks in it. Boy, this is a tiny piece to be able to do this to. And then just make some marks. So that way, I'm taking some of this paint and I'm making marks in it. Interesting. All right, so now we have to use three stencils. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Um, let me dry this up. And we'll use our stencils. All right, so for my three stencils, I totally changed the color palette because I think these will pop out better on this. Um, I have a Anita's All Purpose, uh, what is it, Dark Plum, Luca's Lavender, and a Luca's Magenta prim Primary Red. So I'm going to start out with this one. This is the Dark Plum. This is one of my favorite colors. I really like this color. 
going to look really dark here because, you know, we're not doing a whole lot with it. Well, maybe not. All right, and I'm not going to do a whole lot of this. It's just not going to fit right. All right, so there's that one. I don't like that at all. Here's the purple, lavender, I should say, and here's the... Oh, I can't get the top off. Hold on. As my granddaughter says, hold on, Grandma, hold on. Oh, there we go. Well, she used to say it when she was little. All right, and again, I have way too much paint, but, you know, that's me. Okay, so let's do, let's do some of this purple. I want to do these dots with it. What do we think? Wait, this is just going to be like an abstract something. I don't know what. And then I'm going to take this red and I just want to do some numbers. First, I'm going to blow this dry real quick. All right, so we're going to take this red. It looks more pink to me than red, but that's okay. And we're just going to put some letters here, hopefully. You can't even tell their letters. This thing is so small. But you know what? We're doing what it asked, right? Wow, I really don't like that. Ah, it's okay. I gotta do some doodling on it. That'll have that'll help. Alright, so what we did is we used the bubble wrap. We scratched with a not with a pen, but I used a um, I don't know what you call this thing. It's a little rubber tip thing. So I use that and then we use three stencils. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry this really, really well and then I'm going to doodle on some of the stencils. I think it'll look a little better. So we're going to do that. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of doodling. Like I said, um, I have a, a glare on this, which I've got to figure out that problem because I don't like it. And if you hear licking and lopping over here, my dog is sitting right here next to me. If you hear her go, Phew, that's her. No, get down. Um, hang on. I don't know. Can't see her. Hold on. All right, sorry about that. I had to banish my puppy to the other room. I don't know if that's going to work. Let's see. This is actually kind of difficult to... Um, work on. There we go. That turned a little red. Let's see if we can make this a little bit more out so you can see it more. I don't know if I can see where I did it. I did it there. I did it here. I did it here somewhere right there. No, yeah, it's a little bit more red. Yeah, I think that green, I, I did way too much green on here. I know what I did. So that won't happen again. You know, you live and learn, and then you just make the best of it. That's all you can do. So I just, you know, I'm doing what I can to make it look a little bit different than what it originally would be. You know, another thing I can do is I can actually go back in with this. Let me dry this real quick. Now we know the stenciling and stuff is there, so let's just go back in with some more of this paint and let's get rid of some of that. You know, maybe we can still get our yellow in there. What do you think? A little better? Yeah, I think so. Alright, I'm going to get rid of this green here if I can. Just make it a little bit more yellow. It still has the stencils and stuff there and the bubble wrap and whatever. But now um, we can see the original, some of the original color that was in there also. 
which makes me happier. All right, I think that looks good. Um, I think I'm going to do a few white dots. Let me do that. I'll throw this in here. I want to do a few white dots in my little black circles here. doesn't show very well on here does it well, at least from what I'm seeing again I have a glare so I need to figure out with my lights what to do oh it does come up white um, I need to figure out what I can do with my lights so I don't have this big glare on here for me okay I think I'm gonna call that done Hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you play along. Um, hopefully you've found your puzzle by now and you can have lots of fun once we get this all done and get all these pieces put together. All right, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.